In this video, I will be showing you how to download created players, venues, and logos. So I hope this helps a few people out now as we get straight into this tutorial. Hello, tennis fans. And today I am bringing you a tutorial on how to download the best players, venues, logos, scenarios, etc. All things on AO Tennis to make your game complete and to have the best experience possible. So we're going to start off now at the main menu of AO Tennis 2 and we will head over to the academy. One of the big selling points of the Big Ant Studios games really because although everything's not officially licensed you can download to your heart's content to make the game look as good as possible for yourself. The community really do do a great job of creating lifelike players and venues. Now here we are at the academy section where you can create your own player or logo or venue. And at the end here we have the popular section which shows you the best and most regularly downloaded players. So we're just going to have a look here at the popular players section. Really is probably the easiest way to do things. Just by looking at, as you can see here, top of the tree, Andy Murray. Looking very, very good. On the right hand side section there you will see it's, it's called Playface. Now really you want players with this ticked because that means that they have imported a lifelike copy of the face onto the player and without that tick they just try and do the best job possible with what the game gives you basically. So what I do is I head to search community and then I will look down the world rankings and I will start picking out players who I want in my game. So we're going to start off now by going into the surname contain section and typing in Federer and then we will click play place yes and then we will search now this will take a few seconds to load but then you should be getting every single Roger Federer created on the game as you can see there the play face is all ticked and there are some incredible versions of Federer for you to download just basically scroll through until you find the version that you would like to download. As I said, there is lots and lots to choose from. I like the look of this one now, so we will load into the character screen where you can see the creation in a lot more detail. So here we are with Federer's identity, date of birth, where he's from, when he turned pro, 2020, I don't think that's right. Uh, you go to the clothing section and it shows you all the different outfits that will come with this player once you download them. So several there to choose from. And then you can go into the play style, abilities, skills, all of which can be adjusted. And then you click on the download button, which will then start to download your player for you. And within a few seconds, your game will have a life like Roger Federer ready to play and take to the courts. We're going to do this one more time now, just so that um, you know exactly what to do. So again, in, you pick the player that you want to download, you go to surname contains, and then this time we shall type in, uh, let's go for Zeverev, play face ticked and we sell shirts. Once again, this will take a few seconds, but then every Alexander Zeverev on this game that has been created will show up, and you'll have the ability to scroll through and choose the one which you would like to download. As you can see here, lots to choose from. Some very good ones and some very poor ones as well, you may say, but at least you have a lot to choose from. We're going to click on one now. This one doesn't look too bad. And then we're again going to be at the player screen, which shows you all the details, the different outfits that come with this player once you download them, 
once again lots to choose from and then we head to the download button and then you click that and then Alexander Zverev will be in your game as you see fit now we're going to take a little look at the venues so it's the same sort of thing you just change the search type to venues and then in the name contains you choose what you want to search for so we're going to search for the ATP Cup which is taking place in real life at the minute and then after a few seconds there should be a few ATP Cup venues for you to choose from only two and there you go the only bad thing with the venues is it doesn't show you a very good picture of the actual courts and the arenas all you get is that little screenshot there that is literally all you have to go on to make your choice of which arena you will download which is a bit of a shame really but hopefully you know maybe they'll patch it up at some point to give you a bit of a better preview of the arenas and courts you're downloading but yet again we're going to do this one more time just so that you know exactly what to do this time in name contains we are going to search Roland and that will hopefully bring us up lots in different Roland Garros arenas for us to choose from. There should be lots more here than we had for the ATP Cup. And here we go, several Roland Garros arenas. Like I said, it is frustrating that all you have is these small pictures to go on. But that is all we can do, I'm afraid, at the end of the day. So you again click on one here. This is all the information it gives you. You can hit X to download, or when you're on the previous screen with all the pictures, you can also press triangle for quick download, so you don't even have to go into the venue information. It's just a bit more streamlined and a bit quicker. So there we have it for venues, as simple as that. It's the same sort of process for scenarios, just type in what you want in search. Uh, same again for logos. If you want a Nike logo, then you would type in Nike and hit search. So it's the same sort of thing for each one. It's only the players really that is a little bit different because you're looking for the play face. We're gonna go into the play now section and we're just gonna show off a couple of these players that we have downloaded. And uh, it's as simple as that really. Once you have downloaded them, you can go into your type of game mode and choose the players. Before you start your career, I would recommend downloading as many real life players as possible because supposedly once you've started your career, anyone, any players or venues you download after that will not be a part of it. So do a big, big download session before you start your career. Here's uh, Denis Shapovalov that I've downloaded, which I think looks pretty good. As you can see, many outfits again. So yes, before you start your career, do a big, big download session. Get all those players and venues that you want into your game. And uh, that will give you the best career mode experience possible. As you can see here, you just choose your two players. And then here we go, here's a few of the ones we've downloaded. And here's Roland Garros, Wimbledon. Every court that's not there on the game, you can download and have in there and just give you the best possible AO Tennis 2 experience really. So there we have it. As you can see there, I've downloaded lots and lots of ATPs and the smaller ones and the Grand Slams, all sorts there to add a bit of variety to my career mode. Brisbane, the ATP Finals, ATP Cup. There we have it. I hope this has really helped out a few people. Like I said, it's pretty simple. I'm sure lots of you have already figured out how to do this. This is just for anybody who may be having a bit of trouble or wants to know how to get the best possible versions of players. And it's as simple as that. Like I said, hopefully this has helped a few people out. If it has, leave a like. Drop a comment down below if you have any questions. I'll get back to as many as I can. Hit that subscribe button with a backhand and I will. See you on the virtual courts.